Hello YouTubers! This time I've tested the Japanese-made low-drain, high-capacity 18650 cell from Panasonic, NCR18650BM. It's rated at a bit lower than 4200 mAh and supports discharge current at up to 3.64 amps. Of course, it's not suitable for electric tools, electronic cigarettes and other demanding applications, but it's good for building battery packs and for low-power electronics where the capacity plays the main role. Now let's remind you my testing conditions and move to the capacity test. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building crafts. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5 mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9 mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5 mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle, the battery was charged at its standard charging current, which is mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After discharging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell which I've tested has the following marking. SNV6722, which means that the production date is July 22, 2016. NCR18650BM has the following specifications according to its datasheet. Rated capacity 2980 mAh at 20 degrees. Minimum capacity 3030 mAh at 25 degrees. Typical capacity 4180 mAh at 25 degrees. Nominal voltage 3.6 volts. Standard charge current 0.91 amps. Maximum charge current 3.03 amps. Charge end voltage 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current 60 milliamps. Maximum continuous discharge current 3.64 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 100 milliohms. Maximum weight 49.5 grams. The measured weight of my cell was 47.45 grams, and the measured DC internal resistance at 3030 milliamps was around 26.5 milliohms in fully charged condition. At 0.2C or 0.61 amps, Panasonic NCR18650BM gave out 3222 mAh or 11.71 Wh. At 2 amp discharge rate, the result was 4076 mAh or 10.91 Wh. At its maximum 3.64 amps, the result was 3001 mAh or 10.47 Wh. The capacity test showed that NCR18650BM has a bit higher capacity than declared. The curves look excellent and I think it's underrated. It looks like this cell is capable to be discharged at higher than 3.64 amps. Maybe Panasonic limits it to keep the cycle life in an acceptable range. I don't know. That's all about this guy. Subscribe to my channel, watch other videos, hit the like button and leave your thoughts in comments. Bye bye.